And I'm glad, and I'm glad that we're not wearing the same same pair. So he had a different mindset for me. Yeah, we got to get those guys from the Inferno. And, and, and as you can see, he's a Miami Heat fan. So that just lets you know I don't just <laughs> go around just playing with anybody. He's got but, he's got an Orlando jersey. Yeah, on. but he has Cavs shorts on. He has Cavs shorts, on, so he stands true. <laughs> That's a true. mixed personality. Yeah. <laughs> he's got the Hadouken. Uh, I don't have anything. I'm, I'm almost as serious. Um, as I am on the floor, which I noticed that you guys have my pregame the, stretching the, the, routine. The, yeah, yeah, that's nice. And then my handshake that I do with, that I do with the Mike bro and We call it yeah, the bro, the bro hug. Hug. Yeah. yeah, that was pretty awesome. I was going through everything. See, my matchup is a 99, and I take that more or less as a challenge because he just spends a lot of time going through the career games, which is appreciated. So you must be yeah, uh, excited being around your teammates again too, like uh, absolutely. I, I know your I know your return is pretty close, which is which is awesome. Absolutely. We're all looking forward to it. Like I said, this week has been awesome, and it's only going to get better. That's great. Uh, all right. Yeah. To all. Somebody's going to let me know if we. Uh, oh, thank you. Where are you going? Uh, somebody's going to let me know if uh, Roll. if we trend. I got it. Maybe Chris will text me. Knockdown, boy. All right, Kyrie. Shot. You ready to take some questions? I'll just ask you. Mm -hmm. Uh, Maz Mazzoni underscore Ant asks, who's the funniest guy in the Cavs locker room? Uh, I don't want to take that title. So, uh, <laughs> um, I think it's, we don't really have one. Come on, it's got to be Mozgov. That's, that's, <laughs> that's my imagination anyway. No, no, I mean, <laughs> no, every, everyone has their own, you know, what they find funny or anything like that. So, I, I wouldn't say one person. And that's the step back I'm talking about right there. Yeah. Right there, that step back that everyone uses, especially when they're 99. But we all we all have had different things. But Mozzie's funny, and um, we're just really close to the team. That's awesome. Knockdown. I said, let me get out. Get out of three seconds. Um, Con K A oh, K A N Aukman 23 said, "Who was your role model growing up?" Um, my role model growing up was my father. Um, still is to this day. Uh, we have a great relationship, and uh, it just continues to get better as as I get older. Um, what about basketball role model? Basketball role model? See, I mean, you're a young guy, so like, yeah. was it? I mean, it all, it's hard to say because some of those guys that I actually looked up to, yeah, are still, in the still league. playing against so, them. Yeah, you know, we I <laughs> just uh, you know I took a lot from a lot of inspiration from a lot of guys, uh, but I haven't forgotten the guys that have come before me, and that still allow me to kind of be my unique player, but also utilizing things that they've done to be successful in the league. So I, don't, I never forget that. Never discredit those players either. Never trying to downplay it. You know, we all come from guys that have come before us and guys will come after us. So, so speaking of one of those guys that I think you're referring to, Kobe, wh have you thought about like your meeting with him and, and what he might say? That was actually one of the questions from DJ Malbert 923. Really? Have you what? thought about Have you thought about what you might say when you play uh, Kobe <laughs> in his retirement tour? Besides, I'm gonna beat you. <laughs> uh, I probably won't say anything until after the game, yeah. just knowing how competitor competitive we both are. So, um, for me, I know Kobe. He's just trying to play games and, and not trying to draw as much attention to yep. to himself. So, it's um it'll be an interesting game when we go to LA and we play the Clippers there. He's as well, definitely brought so much for the league. Yeah, and without a doubt, without a doubt, he also. I mean, he's. He's given his all to the game. That's all you can ask for from a great player. Absolutely. Um, what's your favorite part about playing in Cleveland? This one's from Matt NYC thirty three. My favorite part in playing in Cleveland? Yep. Mm, that it, it's almost it, it's not that far away from New York, but it's it's uh it's it's far enough for my family to take a flight. So oh, that's off. Um, Dang, you, okay, I'm trying I'm, to concentrate on a lot of things you. right now. That's all right. That's off. You know, every time I do a broadcast, everybody's like, you <laughs> suck, you suck. I'm like, I'm on a broadcast talking, trying to host it, trying to, like, deal with the tech. You've got to knock that down. It's a, it's a lot of What the heck? Um, what was the question? The question was uh, favorite part about playing in Cleveland. The fans. The fans, man, especially during the playoffs. That was the first time. My first experience in the playoffs with Cleveland fans and – now I understand why uh, why home court advantage yeah. really makes a difference. Yep. Uh, it can it can really sway the the momentum of a game like no other. 
definitely. Roll That's what you guys it. are playing for, too. Yep. So much bigger than all of us. Yeah. And we realized that going throughout the season, but last year during the playoffs, it was unbelievable, man. The energy was crazy. Oh. Let's talk more about the shoes. Actually, one of the mm-hmm. questions is uh, Reese underscore Lloyd 13, and he said, what is your inspiration for the, the new colorways? Um, but let's start with the Inferno. Well, they, they come from my favorite color, red, and it comes from uh, when I when I catch fire a little bit during the game and, um, you know, kind of get hot a little bit. And, uh, oh, come on, let's get that. Nice board. Yeah, thanks, man. Um, yeah, just an Inferno. Welcome to the Inferno. Can't really do anything about it except me heating up. And you can obviously see the flames-esque on the, on the strap. Yeah. But also the colorways. I, I love having it stand out where it's not necessarily red but it's an off red and it's it's crazy to see because it stands out on the floor and, and when i had my um my first colorway last year mm-hmm. i think they were about crimson and another color and we wore the first time i wore them was against golden state and i actually got a fine for the league because it wasn't our team colors which i was pretty happy about nike necessarily <laughs> wasn't happy about yeah. it but uh, I was happy about it because that means that they stood out completely. And it didn't yeah. look anything like our colorways, um, which I like to stand out, especially with the colors. Ron, come on. Before we get into the, the uh, inspiration for the effect, um, you know, I was thinking about the strap and, like, it's different than a, a lot of the shoes that you see. It's mm-hmm. it's uh, it's lower on well, the strap all the way around. Yeah, no, I, to- I totally, sense. I totally get it. Sense. I think it will probably, like, have your heel stick, right? And so then that way you can accelerate a little bit more. Yeah. Did yeah. you win, by the way? Um, come on, Ronnie. <laughs> come on now. <laughs> of course. I'm sorry. On, I even While I'm and, and I still While you're had talking. a decent game. Yeah. I'm impressed. Uh, but it definitely, definitely keeps your impressed. heel down. Yeah. And like I said, uh, I think the biggest thing about being – uh, able to keep your defender off balance is by also keeping 